all, it's um, Leanne back again with part two of the September box. So if you saw the other day, um, I uploaded a video where I used some of these markers um, and with some, uh, what's that stuff called? Alcohol, rubbing alcohol, icicle. <laughs> Sorry, I should be more prepared. Anywho. Um, onto the plate and I had a background so one of the backgrounds you can see sitting outside there so now all I'm doing is with the Bria Reese dual tip markers so I'm just applying some of them um, you can see I laid some sort of flat so it sort of gave it a, a line and then I put some X's and then I'll do some um, just some doodle circles on there on just on my gel plate it is um, and then I also use the um, tri blend from the Spectrum Noir and then I do a print and then I'll do three more of these to build up the background now if you have a look at that it looks pretty darn cool I reckon you know and all I'm using is the same four pens so I've got the three Brie Reese ones which is like a purple color a yellow and a green then the tri blend one which is in a it's a green tones too it doesn't actually say it oh sorry green turquoise and then just doodling on my gel plate and then printing it up. So you can see how particular I am being about these doodles. <laughs> well, kind of, I suppose I am because I've used basically a scribbly circle, X's and then the lines. So I probably am being a bit more intentional than what I was thinking. So anyway, This is, it's a pretty fun technique, this, and I think I'll, I'll probably try it again, because, yeah, I lost part of it from what I do, but, you know, that's what happens. Um, yeah, but it, it's really cool to, really easy and fun to do a background without thinking about it, because you know how sometimes when you're doodling directly onto your background piece, you get a bit scared about where things are going to be, etc. So this is, it has that element of chance to it, and I think it adds a little bit more fun. So now I've decided that I am going to do a series of two ATCs out of this background. So I sort of just sort of went towards the middle. I didn't actually, you know, I could have ruled lines on the front and seen what I was getting, but again, I wanted that element of surprise. So I love ATCs. Um, I'm pretty stuck on them at the moment. They're just a great size. Yeah. So you can see them there. Now I'm thinking what to do, what to do, and I get out the wax crown. I was going to add some gel medium, but that didn't work either. Wax crown, I just scribbled it over the top, and then I used some of this um, FW ink where I watered it down on there, um, and then I spritzed it with water, and I was drying it, and it still just was too much. So then I just wiped some off there with the baby wipe, and then that's me spritzing with water again and rubbing some more off. So because I've done that, I've sort of moved the wax so it didn't resist properly, if that makes sense. So yeah, so I'm just going to dry it now and then I will get out the Kayser Craft. It's a turquoise um, that came in my little pack. And I will just use the end and I'll just put some splatters on there. And then using the um, Faber-Castell, the pit pen, it's the big brush one. So this is really cool for making those lines as well. So you just sort of lay it down on the edge and just tap down and you get some really cool lines. I don't know, I, I think it looks good. You guys be the judge. So then I'm thinking now what am I going to do? So I get out some chipboard that I've got from Kinder Creations. And if you know me, I'm pretty obsessed with these angel wings. So I've got a set of angel wings and then a set of the snowflakes. So I've just got two snowflakes that I'm going to layer up. So, And it's just white chipboard, so I don't do anything with it. I've just left it. So you can see some of the burn marks in it and slight imperfections in the colour of it. But I really, really like it. I think it looks pretty cool and cool. So I've made a little pretty pattern there and then the wings. And then all I'm going to do is add a couple more splatters. Spray of water, dry it up. You can see that pretty cool wet wipe that I'm just using inside there that's going to be 
use for something pretty soon, I can see. And then I just get, uh, I think I ended up going with the, yeah, Tim Holtz sentiment, a set sentiment quote. How about we just say quote? No way, get tongue tied. And add that to it as well. And then get out the little stay anywhere permanent pen um, that came in our September box as well. And then I just quickly do around the edges, just on, so on top of it. Not even making sure that it's a perfect line, anything like that. I, did I say I stitched around the outside of the cards as well, just to, you know, add stitching because that's what I do. So here are some close-up guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I had fun with that September kit. Hopefully I'll get more done. Um, hopefully. So please like, comment and subscribe. And